Hi guys and welcome to the much anticipated unboxing of Core Space First Born. Um, hopefully you'll be watching this uh, just prior to you um, receiving your lovely goodness. Um, and obviously what I'm doing here, I'm unboxing the Kickstarter uh, edition. So um, the retail edition is pretty pretty substantially heavy, but this is, this is um, yeah, this is solid. So, um, if you've got um, original core space, uh, you probably already know the main differences with um, Firstborn is you're going to get one it's a standalone game, um, it's a new location basically. Uh, so instead of it being set in the Barrens, you're now actually set at the very tip of the Perseus arm, uh, where you discover the first form. Uh, and with this one, because you've already got lots of crews and you've got two crews in the original core space, this has got one uh, crew in it, um, so you can play it solo or you can sort of split it up. You can add your own, uh, add other crews into it and you can do all the lovely goodness that you want to do. Uh, but yeah, it's a standalone game, um, so uh, even if you're not jumped in on the original core space originally, then um, it doesn't matter because um, this is lovely and goodness uh, all as it is. So, uh, I think we really just need to open it up and, uh, and have a look inside. Uh, lovely box, uh, nice kind of linen finish with a spot UV. Um, okay, so let's uh, pop this over here, pop the lid off. Pop that over here, down there, something like that. Okay, uh, so the first thing you're gonna find actually is that you've got your uh, neoprene mat over the top and you might have some things across the top of it, um, uh, depending on how to pack that completely. Um, let's have a look at this mat. Mat's really nice, as you'd expect, um, with uh, battle systems. Um, so uh, really happy with these mats. The artwork has come out amazing. Uh, the quality of the print is amazing. And, um, the, uh, and, and as usual, we're using this thinner substrate. Uh, which is a lot more um, crinkle and crack resistant, um, and I'm just yeah I'm just dead chuffed with the um, with, with with the game mat. Not many games give you neoprene uh, mats straight in there. We always have, so um, and I just think it just it just adds that kind of quality feel. Okay, so you've got your lovely game mat. Um, Afterwards, let's have a look at some of the things. We've got our new clear rulers. These are really nice. Um, this was something I really wanted to do. Um, if we visited uh, Core Space again, which we have, and of course now we know it's going to be an ongoing saga. Um, I really like these uh, clear rulers. Anything that kind of lets you see through the terrain, keeps you focused on the terrain is really good. So you've got one for medium range, which is um, really nice, and uh, a nice little short range one, um, which is really kind of, I just wanted, I, I always wanted that little extra small one just for quickly dropping it into the terrain. Um, and now we've got them both. Woo! Really happy. I'm really happy. Um, looking back in the box here again, uh, you can see um, now what you're going to get. You've got a lattice here. This area here will be taped down so it doesn't move around, and you you might even be able to spot already. There's a true god mini under there, or the uh, uh, insane god, should I say? Um, so uh, looking at this side first, we've got the lattice, and you'll see that how that goes together. That basically slots together and allows you to um, repack everything back into its box. Um, afterwards, which is um, perfect. You don't have to, you know, necessarily take uh, all the bits and pieces. You've got some spare, you've got little, uh, your, your baggie here, and the baggie is used for um, keeping your, um, some of your equipment tokens in, um, and um, your mining uh, tokens uh, in game, so it's not really a dice bag. Uh, you've got some spare baggies there for your other counters that you won't be using in the game. Um, and then actually what we've got here, we've got a bunch of, um, we've, we've already on top got a bunch of these um, little rule books because obviously you've got a lot of extra um, uh, goodies in the, um, in, in the expansions, so in, in the, uh, the Firstborn Pledge. So uh, straight away you've got these little nice little full colour booklets with all the necessary rules and pretty pictures, colour photos of uh, this one uh, in, in the line of fire. Um, you'll see those miniatures in a moment. Um, and of course, as always, you know, with each little expansion, we're giving you these little extra missions. Uh, often it's a, a little three-part mission that you can play, which is really, really good. So we've got one of those for In, li in the Line of Fire. Um, we've got one for um, Fury of the Insane God there. Um, similar thing, lots of lovely pictures, and you've got your little three-part campaign, um, that's a tough one. 
Um, and uh, we've got your um, ships of disre uh, disrepute there um, with all its necessary, necessary rules uh, through there. Um, some little charts and things. Uh, you've even got this like a uh, little, I can't really call it a, a rule book, but a booklet for um, the utility dashboards, which you'll, you'll see in a moment. So, okay, yeah, you've got those, um, those extra uh, rules there already. Um, and if we pull this back over, we've got some stuff here. Well, let's have a look at that now. Um, we've basically then got your, um, you get a you get a taster of the ships of dis, uh, disrepute. So this is your um, uh, your dashboard for that. And you've got a couple of clips on here that allows you to kind of um, have a dashboard next to it that can, you know, kind of uh, roll around with that, move around. And you can see you've got um, some of your inlays, which just pop into here uh, for various different ships. Um, and uh, on the backs, you've got like a blank version as well, which is really cool. So you can kind of do your own ships, which is uh, really, 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 really good. So you've got that. Um, really happy with those dashboards. They've come out lovely. What else have we got in here? I've uh, got a little bit of cardboard. I'll leave that to one side because we're going to talk about the cardboard in a moment. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. And then on top, you've got two, you've got your, your rule books. Now, what we've done this time is we have included a little quick start guide, which we've got here. Uh, the learn to play, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and yeah, this basically just takes you through the, the, the basic components that are in the game and, um, you know, basic setup and, you know, all, all the things that if you've not played Core Space before, you really need to get to grips with, which is the, you know, dashboards and the ammunition and the pegs and so on and so forth. Um, and then it, it kind of takes you through uh, a little kind of, uh, mission, which what you do, just this is like a little one little quarter of the game map. You can just set up just to get used to the rules. Um, if you've already played Core Space before, you might not want to do that. You might want to just jump straight into it, knowing what you're doing. But if you've not and you're new to it, uh, this might be a nice little way to get get used to uh, the, uh, the 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 very basics uh, of the rules before you build an entire map. Um, but yeah, that's really nice. Uh, we did do a quick start guide before, and now we did. Then you've actually got your um, core space um, firstborn uh, rule book, um, and as always, this is a lovely book. Um, if I flick through very quickly, first of all, you'll see it's full of lovely colour pictures, colour photography, explaining the different you know parts of different rules. Um, you know, instead of instead of actually just uh, using diagrams, we took actual pictures of the board and we've used Photoshop to kind of show you the effects on different miniatures and give examples of rules, uh, just like original core space, um, which is really, really good. Um, we've also got, um, you know, uh, a basic kind of um, exploration setup that would be the same as the salvage run um, in core space. So that's a mission you can just play any time. Um, and then as you go through, you've then got your run You've actually got your your campaign through there, which is really interesting with little bits of story. Um, absolutely, you're going to have a lot of fun playing through that. Uh, that's really nice. Um, and then in classic core space style, we have at the back we've got your skills, so you know they're at the back. And actually, we do um, we do some reference cards as well now, which is really good. So you can have these um, skills just like on the table. So even uh, less of a reason to pick up the book. Um, and then, as of course, again, any um, particular icons, uh, there's like a glossary at the back, um, uh, uh, so you can look those up quickly, and then any equipment that um, does very special things. And then lastly, at the back, um, you've got an index. Um, we've, got a, uh, we've got a contents at the front, as usual, um, and before, though, we only had an index in the uh, deluxe rule book. The other rule book we didn't have room for it, so we've made sure that even in the, in this standard rule book, everybody's got an index. Um, and we've taken on some of your comments, like uh, making sure that the main rules where things are covered are uh, kind of put in bold as well. So if you're looking for the whole rule and you, it's a new rule, um, then you can just go to the bold, and that'll that'll be the bit that'll be where the meat and the bones of the rules are. So we've we've listened to that, and of course, the very last two pages, um, you've got this very quick reference guide uh, for when you first start playing with your NPC charts and, um, you know, what the dice do and so forth. Um, yeah, um, taking all your comments and board and really kind of gone to town on that, uh, 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 on that uh, rule book, which is really, really good. 
over to here. Um, what have we got next? Um, well, we need to pull out the miniatures, I think. Okay, so here's your box of miniatures, uh, just like core space. Um, they've got, they're in a little vacuum tray. And if I pop these out, da -da 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 -da. okay. So let's have a look at the core set miniatures. So if you've got the retail section, section, retail product, this bit here basically will just be empty. And these are just, and you can use these in game to store pegs and things, the different colored pegs uh, as you go through. Um, uh, 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 and uh, obviously you've got some pegs and bits and pieces which are included. But let's have a look at the core game miniatures only first. So we've got our basic miniatures. And these miniatures, I mean, look at that rock worm. These miniatures have come out absolutely amazing. Um, we've always we've always kind of um, kept up with the industry standards as far as um, single piece um, plastic miniatures uh, are concerned. Uh, and um, yeah, a lot of companies are really pushing forward their casting and we're doing the same thing. I'm, I'm really, really impressed. Um, with with, with uh, these particular miniatures, which is really great. The detailing is great. Of course, we've, we've colour coded them like we did the original uh, core space. Um, so your traders are still in grey, along with all your other crews. The hunters, a new type of um, NPC in the rock worms, we've got in a different colour. And then we've got these guys in a, in, in, in a kind of nice alien green, I guess you'd say. Um, which is good because it keeps it separate from the, the town of the purge and so on and so forth. Um, also new to uh, these miniatures um, are these little drones um, and we've, um, uh, thanks to you guys, uh, we did so well on the Kickstarter, um, we decided to upgrade these to clear flying bases which is great, I can't remember if we did that on the Kickstarter itself um, or whether we did that post but either way I wanted uh, clear bases and that's what we got which is great um, for flying. When you get yours though what you're going to notice is, see how nicely lined up these are and how perfectly they fit in the tray yours not going to be like that yours going to be like this they're going to be sort of like that and just just like that um and the reason is is because we've asked them uh, the factory specifically not to glue uh these clear bases in because we know many of you guys are going to want to paint these um and um yeah they basically said no they need to they, they need to be glued in otherwise they're going to fall apart in transit and we said we don't care um, so um, they specifically are left for you guys and then you can just click them on like that and they're ready to go for um, for uh, once you painted them so yeah really happy with those um, and, but that's just the core that is just the core set and we've got all unique poses on the liege now and the iconoclast are unique poses uh, and of course the hunters and the, even the worms are, are two different Poses? Can you pose a worm? I don't know. Um, two different questiony, marky, weirdy shapes. Anyway, um, so what what we've got on this, this side? Well, as with the the, 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 the tour game, you're going to get your pegs. These would normally be in here anyway. Um, we've got these new Excellent Orange pegs, which are for Accelerant ammo, um, which are which is really really amazing ammo that will really help you in first born which a little bit ramp up of the difficulty um, but because it's the kickstarter you've got some extra, extra bits and pieces as well so uh, the first thing that happens is you get another bunch of uh, these drones so there's four drones in there um, and you're going to get um, another bunch of the um, the first ranking uh, first born so you've got your uh, more of your lesion there and you've got more iconoclast um, and of course over here we've got the uh, the true born in the middle, um, both in his normal pose it, or he's awake and his um, uh, sleepy kind of uh, states there. Um, you only get the, 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 that only ever comes out once per game, but you've still got lots of extra here. So if you've got like a double mat setup or anything, you've got plenty of um, plenty of these guys to uh, to keep you uh, happy, as it were, or unhappy, happy, unhappy. I'm not sure. Um, what else have we got? Um, we have got uh, we have got these two guys here, pretty big. If you put them next to a trader, these are basically your um, your guardians, and they are the protectors of um, the uh, insane god, which you'll see in a moment. It's got its own special uh, tray because he's such a kind of um, nefariously sculpted uh, miniature. Um, so you've got those two guys, and then also over here, um, I've already taken these out of the baggy bag a bit, uh, you've got your um, 
you've got your uh, in the line of fire. So with this, you've got your uh, reporters and the tech that goes with it to keep the signal strong, plus the little camera. Again, we put the camera on uh, a little um, on a little clear base, which is great. And then we've got your miners. Um, uh, we've got your miners here, which are um, really, really cool as well because they uh, they basically go in and mine the stuff before you can get to it. So that's really, really cool. Let's pop those in there. Put those back in there. And also what we've got is we've got your dashboards. These are really crap. These are really, really good. Okay, so we've got your utility dashboards. I'll leave the other ones in there, and there's some little clips in there. Uh, and basically, these are what you're gonna actually tag onto a dashboard. You'll grab a dashboard, um, that you're gonna click, that there's some little clips in there, and they go in there like that, and you can have like um, additional, you can actually have additional um, things like shoulder cannons with additional ammo. You can have shields, which were these new little blue pegs are for, you'll see, for the shield pegs. Um, and then uh, you've got this one here that can be used for things like um, uh, backpacks and stuff like that. So that you can, um, satchels and backpacks, so you can actually have a particular trader that's carrying additional um, items. Um, these are really, really good. Uh, and of course, we've given you that, uh, uh, we've given you uh, a taster of those in there as well. And you've actually got two, Two sets there, so you've got two of uh, the larger and two of the small, with a whole bunch of clips for that um, and the uh, the new pegs, which is good. Pop those back in there. So you've got loads and loads of really cool miniature stuff going on with that. I'll pop those over there, which leaves us. Well, let's take this little. We've got, we've got this other little tray, which is just sitting inside the box, and that's got your hostility tracker in it, which is great. Um, if you've not played Core Space before, this is going to track uh, the hostility to the game, uh, slowly ramping up the difficulty, ranking up the um, different types of NPC that are going to come in, uh, the stronger, more powerful NPC types. Um, and then on this side, we've got your dashboards. These are your standard dashboards, like original Core Space, to, um, for you to have your character cards in. So you've got your character card in here, then you've got your equipment tray of all the things you can carry. You've got your class board and the stats that go with that, plus ammunition, that kind of thing where you pop all your pegs in. So they're your standard class boards. Four of those, because we've got a crew of four. We've got the uh, we've got the uh, the firstborn dice, the new dice, which um, and we've upgraded these dice uh, to uh, a little bit of a, um, a kind of a marbled, pearlescent marbled effect. Um, and they just look really, really nice now. Um, we've kind of deepened the colours and, uh, you know, made it all a bit nicer. Uh, plus the two new dice, you've got your knowledge dice there. Knowledge dice is amazing. That will, if anyone's played original core space, um, if you're good at it, you can really plan around the NPC moves. Um, this makes it a little bit more difficult. Wander into a room, you make all your plans and this dice will kind of shake things up a little bit um, and spoil your plans sometimes and the spawn dice that goes with that as well. So that's really cool, you've got your dice there. Um, and then, under here, we've got uh, your event cards. Um, this is a, a much thicker pile of event cards than what you'll get in the core game. I uh, can't remember the exact numbers, but um, yeah, I think core game probably is uh, sort of like 25 cards or something like that, um, and there's certainly more than that in here. Uh, and of course, that's got all your cards in it from things like In the Line of Fire, um, the Insane God and um, da, 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 all the other bits and pieces uh, that go along with that. So you've got those cards there. Then you've got your plastic clips here. Um, so you've got that and there's another one over here. Um, so in the core game, you'll get two sets of plastic clips, but you'll see with the cardboard, we've given you additional walls and things. So we've included another uh, set of clips in there as well. Um, and there's a separate video on how to uh, assemble uh, terrain as it were. And then uh, lastly, for this particular tray here, we've got this lovely, um, we've got your uh, Fury of the Insane God miniature. Uh, so I'm gonna pop that out, he's in his own little tray. Sort of clips out, there you go. Uh, and there you can see this lovely miniature. Um, really, really happy with the way that that turned out. Um, he's got his own special vac tray to keep all of his um, uh, extremities in the right position. And uh, we've got a little 
the last minute we added this little tray to keep his uh, feet in the right position so you can play him straight out of the box without any hair dryers and so on and so forth, um, as it were. Uh, and he just clips back into there like that. And I'll leave your dashboards and then move that over to here. Um, so the only thing we've got left in the box now is this pile of cardboard, which will be all shrink wrapped up. Um, but I've had to open it to, uh, uh, well, for a number of reasons. One for checking stuff, but also because this is the second time I've shot this video. Um, and the, the first time it was myself and Simon sitting next to, so sitting next to me. Um, but there was all sorts of camera and video issues. So, um, and we want to get this video out to you as soon as possible. So I'm reshooting now. So here we go. So first of all, you can see on the top here, um, and this might be in reverse order uh, because I've gone through it once. <laughs> um, so let's put it back in the, the, the correct order. So the first sheet that I'm, I'm showing you here is actually a sheet of ruins that we gave you. Um, so you can make all the nice ruiny components, which have got all the, the kind of jaggedy, jiggedy, jaggedy bits on them. Um, that's really cool. Give you a taste of that. If you want some more of that, you can buy like the ruin set, which is really, really cool. Um, but this is nice because you can just adds a bit of variety. Um, you can see here that we've actually got um, these two bits here, which are your, um, uh, for using with your ships of disrepute over here. So um, this would overlay over to this, which then goes in the tray uh, and you pop out the various parts on here and that will reveal various parts of your ship. And as you upgrade, you can pop more bits out and increase and so on and so forth. Um, and then you've got like this half of the sheet as well, which is all the lovely um, counters, um, upgrade counters and tracking counters. And you've got new equipment items that you can go in with um, uh, these little relays and you've got the um, like fuel um, and um, special ships ammunition and all sorts of crazy stuff. So, um, so that's really, really cool. <clears throat> then we've got some of the basic components, the core components of the game. Um, we've got your character cards here with the, with the classes um, on here, including the new marine class, um, and um, which is really, really cool. Uh, and, and your usual counters and some of your uh, existing weapons, plus some new and interesting weapons here. We're including nano items in, in this game, as, which we never, uh, nano items weren't around with the original core space, so we're including you know, all sorts of new content with that. We've got a new ship board, um, some tracking counters for uh, Dyson Energy, um, and you know target counters and things. Some some of that you might have seen before. Um, then uh, let's move those to the side. Then we've got um, this is another core uh, core game component. Um, so you've got your uh, hostility tracker, which slots into this, and you've got your tokens. We've got the new mining uh, tokens on here. Uh, with their values so that you can actually craft interesting equipment, which is great. Plus your NPC tracking balls. We've got your uh, hunter character balls who can also be hired as traders. And we've got your um, your Trueborn uh, uh, character uh, card there. Trueborn's a lot harder to kill than the live one. Uh, live one's pretty tough until you've got certain skills and stuff anyway. Uh, this guy is, you know, sort of on par or even more powerful than uh, something like the, like an Annie, the Annihilator from the original core space. So, um, yeah, uh, you won't be taking this guy out so easily. Um, and you're certainly going to have to craft some weapons to, to help you. Uh, new spawn points, more counters. Um, and then if we can grab uh, this. Now, we've then got your main counter sheet with a lot of firstborn technology, both uh, standard and nano. And then you've got your own equipment, um, which is both standard and nano items as well. Um, which is really cool. We've also got drone points here. We've got uh, uh, drones actually spawn on the map as opposed to just going around the outside. Um, and I don't know how difficult it is for you to see here, but you'll see that many of these items have got little coloured triangle bits on the back. You'll need to mine the walls uh, and get uh, specific alien raw materials to craft those. And because of the Kickstarter, we gave you two of those sheets. So I would certainly recommend that when you first get the game, pop out just one of these sheets to start um, and to just get into the game um, and then keep the other one to one side um, until you're ready to kind of, you know, flavour it up a little bit. You're like, well, actually, I kind of feel like I need a little bit more of this or I need a little bit more of that. Or maybe you've got a scenario where you need to find some of these items you have to find and then you combine them together, um, like, you know, three parts of a, an ancient tablet. And you might be like, OK, well, you know what? I need two of those in the game and so on and so forth. Okay, you might not want more uh, rewards for your hunters, so, so they're there. So you've got two of those sheets. Uh, then again, 
Now, all these sheets here, certainly these ones, these are all nice and kind of um, glossy and uh, they're like plastic, they're beautiful when you have them in your hands. Um, but for the terrain, we've got, we're back to our normal kind of satin uh, matte finish, which is really, really nice for because we don't want the, the terrain to be too shiny. Um, here you can see here that we've got one with the Dyson reactor uh, on here and we've got things like wormholes. Then we've got this one here, which has got all your little cargo crates, sleep chambers, exhaust ports, um, some pillars, um, that kind of thing. Uh, and you, in a core set, you get two of those, but because it's a Kickstarter, um, you're going to get uh, additional, so you're going to get another pillar, you're going to get another two cargo crates, another sleep chamber, another exhaust, um, which is all really, really good stuff. Um, makes it really flexible for missions and things like that. Then we've got your large entrances, so we've got these ones here, very vine-like, overgrown and vine-like, plus um, your, um, your arches, which are all covered in vines, lots of struts, another pillar. Um, and uh, you'll uh, normally get two of those sheets again um, with uh, the core game, but the Kickstarter edition, you've got an additional one. Uh, this really allows you to add some complexities to your maps, um, which is great. So if you want something really kind of rabbit warren, really packed in, um, this is really gonna help you, as is uh, these sheets, or as are these sheets over here. Um, and this is your mainstay of the set as well, which is your walls, and you've got various different walls here. Uh, both with uh, small single doors and double doors, um, half walls, um, the new quarter strut as well, which we uh, sorry, sorry uh, new quarter wall that we've got here as well, plus some little pebbles and you know sort of like broken stones and you know little bits you can just lay on the map to give it um, uh, some texture. Now in the core set you'd normally get three of those, and again because of the Kickstarter we just kept unlocking uh, and was able to get uh, a lot of extra printed of these. Um, which um, really means, again, you're going to be able to really make the terrain kind of um, uh, as, as kind of complex and tight as you want, um, especially if you've got like a, an extra game mat or something, you might have a much larger rooms and spread it out across a, a, a couple of mats. Um, uh, and then finally, uh, we've got some of the card here. Um, I better grab this one back over as well, uh, which is for some of your expansions. Um, so here we've got uh, in the line of fire, you've got your um, your unique, what it be on this side, you've got your workers um, and then you've got your media. And then the media on the reverse side become normal civilians for original core space. And the workers on this side can be hired for traders. Um, definitely gonna be uh, hiring uh, uh, Bullworth for sure. Uh, three arms, three legs, and all that cool kit that he's got on his back. Um, you've then got uh, a taster of the new auxiliaries. If you've got um, the Bounty Hunters, our new Bounty Hunter set, which is amazing, um, that's got auxiliaries in it, um, and this will give you a taster of the auxiliaries as well. And this one is the little flying camera, um, which you can then upgrade uh, to have it more powerful, um, as it were, and new data counters. Also, we've got these white items on here. You'll also see these in Trading Post 5 set as well. Um, these are drop crate items. This is giving you the ability to actually help your guys because in in, um, in Firstborn, unlike original core space, when you're going through their sleep chambers and their arch, you're not going to find additional ammo clips, <laughs> you know? This is their world. Um, uh, or medistims. Um, you're going to need to make sure that when you take your crew in that you have this stuff in advance, otherwise you're gonna run out of ammo and then you're going to die. Um, so um, the this gives you that ability to kind of drop, drop, create some supplies in, and we've got everything you need here, ammo, even accelerant ammo, grenades, yeah, you'll need those, um, and even a new sort of caterpillar bomb, which is really great, um, rolling six dice on that. Holy moly. Uh, uh, so you've got all that, and then uh, this one is the support that goes along with the uh, Fury of the Insane God. And again, you've got one card for your Guardians because they're linked together. So you can take one out, you take them both out, who are the protectors of um, the uh, Insane God. And all, and, and again, like the Firstborn, uh, the Trueborn, sorry, character, they've got these slot out health areas that's going to make them a lot harder to kill. But boy, if you get these guys, you can craft some amazing stuff. And we have got things like the Guardians Bane, this really powerful weapon here. Um, and so on and so forth. And some other, other really cool stuff on here. We've got a uh, guy here who's got a little hat, which gives you a shield, but you can throw it um, uh, with the boomerang ability, that kind of stuff. Um, and some cool stuff on that. 
And last but not least, we've got this little fella here, which which may well be right on the top of uh, in, in your pack, uh, possibly. Um, and this is this is all the very unique item that can be slotted into your dashboards. Okay, so um, we've got you know um, uh, these items here, which are things like backpacks, and um, we've got um, bandolas and sling mounts. Then we've got um, shield rigs and mo um, mounted fusion guns and. Uh, enhanced combat suits and so we've got these large items here um so uh oh look we've got bulworth's mining kit on here um which is really really cool um and some very specialist um exo armor um which is all really cool um and that will uh, all slot in these are kind of weird shapes these ones um i could put one of these out do, 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 do. these have kind of a weird little uh, shape to them so that um We've got this bit here and it allows you to kind of slot them in and then one side tracks for various different areas of your dashboard. So uh, yeah, so you've got all of that cardboard as well. So there is absolutely tons and tons of stuff um, just in that core box. And of course this is not the all in, this is not necessarily like the all in pledge. If you've got the all in pledge, you've got other boxes and bits and pieces to go through. But for the kick, kickstarter edition for the, the, for the core pledge, that is what you're gonna get in the box. Um, now, to give you an idea of how it all goes back in the box, I've got this one over here in Blue Peter style. Now let's see what my grip's like because ah, it's heavy. Ah. Okay, so this is um, the same as what you've just seen, but we put the lattice together. So I'm going to show you that really quickly. If you've got original core space, you'll already be um, accustomed to how we get this stuff back into the box. <clears throat> so once you've played it, set it all up, and you want to pack it away, it goes back on the shelf, as it was behind me. Um, this is how it's packed back into the box. Again, that goes back on the top like that. You can see here that I've just got the rule book sitting on top of there. And then the miniatures lays completely flush with this tray here. If you've got the True God expansion, you can pop that back in here. This is, this is actually the retail version, but it's completely fine. You'll see there's plenty of space in there. Um, I leave my uh, tracker in here. This is a tighter fit, so that'll just sit in there and stay in there. Um, I've actually got some reference card stuff there. I'll move those out of the way. Um, and here you can see that I've actually um, I've actually got my dashboards, and I've just um, put an elastic band around them, uh, and I've even I've even got kind of the uh, and I've kept their equipment in the other trays underneath so that um, you know, I don't need to kind of pack those away into baggies or anything. Um, next, time, oh, next time I'm coming out, I can't see what I'm doing because this box is in the way. Oh, let's do that. Next time I'm sort of playing, I can just drag those out, put them straight on there, fill them with whatever pegs they are uh, without having to worry about kind of um, sorting out their equipment or having photographs of what they looked like the last time, etc. Okay, so they're going to go straight into there, and underneath you can see I've got my event cards, I've just put a, la uh, a lucky band around those, um, and I've got my dice which I've just put back in there, and like I say, if you've got a true god, it'll fit in there for you, uh, space for the expansion. Uh, and then the miniatures, now in this case, uh, your miniatures just go back into the box as normal, uh, and actually these ones are the painted up ones. So uh, we've painted our miniatures and we have now got this space here. When you're gaming, great area to put, like I said before, uh, put pegs and bits and pieces. So um, pop that in there. And if you've got expansion miniatures and stuff like that, uh, as we have in the Kickstarter, you can pop those back in there as well. Um, what's it, Daisy? Pop that back in there, lovely. Put that to one side. Oh, running out of space, so much stuff. Uh, and then if you look in here, you'll see, you get this on, you'll see that we've actually got um, all of the bits and pieces already packed down, um, but but not we haven't taken apart all of the um, all of the things like the cargo crates and so on and so forth. So all these little arcs and stuff. So you can actually just glue these fellas together, um, and it'd be completely fine. Um, so just pulling some out, we've got like your little exhaust here and we've got uh, your sleep chambers here. Um, obviously don't glue the ends on, you'll need those to come to come off. And they all fit here. And there's actually quite, it's difficult to, to see here, but there's quite a lot of space. So they're kind of like only half filled a lot of these trays. So if you've got like additional 
you'll have additional ones of these, for example. Uh, they'll, they'll just fit on top, or you can turn them like that, and you can fit them across. There's, there's extra space on top of these areas here. And then you'll also see the ruler here, you'll notice there's in this lattice, you've got to put it together in a particular way so you get this line, there's a little recess across this lattice. And what it means is, because the ruler doesn't fit in the box, it's a very specific length, um, it will go at a nice angle like that, and it means that at no point will you end up with a broken or um, bent, uh, as it were, uh, ruler. And then with things like the, uh, the actual terrain itself, all the walls, um, I just put like a lot, uh, there's two large entrances. I've got a large entrance at the bottom, large entrance at the top, and then all the other wall variants are kind of um, kind of just packed in between. Uh, and I put some uh, plastic bands together, and you just end up with this block of walls, which fits perfectly in there. Um, and then uh, underneath these pillars down here, I've got, you know, things like my character cards and stuff. And again, there's loads of room in there, and I've got like uh, the archways. So um, there's loads of room in there, so you'll be able to put all your other, you know, uh, Fury of the Insane Guard and your In the Line of Fire character cards and just, you know, whack a band around there and uh, you're good to go. So that means that you can really just, um, whether it's just the core retail game or the Kickstarter edition, you can really just kind of pack loads of extra bits and pieces in there, which is totally great. Uh, and it all fits back together really nicely. Oh, I'm missing miniatures. So this one's over here, isn't it? Right. They go around the top like that. Up on top. I feel like I'm missing something. That. Maybe it's the lid. Maybe it's the lid I'm missing. There we go. Pop that in there. What a lovely fit. Okay. So there you go, that is your um, core space, uh, first born Kickstarter box unboxing, Kickstarter box unboxing. Um, hope you enjoyed that, hope give you a good idea of how it all goes back into the box, obviously, um, but also um, just, uh, you know, um, a plethora of uh, items and things to, to enjoy as you go through. That's winging its way over to you guys now plus any other additional um, things that you might have added on, especially if you've got like an all-in pledge. Um, and we'll cover those uh, very specific things in more detail in a separate video. Otherwise, we're going to have like, you know, a 15-hour video just for <laughs> just for a particular thing. Oh, you know, I've forgotten something. So there you go. Uh, core Space, Firstborn, Kickstarter unboxing. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And of course, um, thanks for your support because uh, when I went through uh, a couple of weeks ago, just um, yeah, uh, unpacking and checking all of these uh, items, uh, I'm, I'm just really, really happy with the amount of content with, that we managed to kind of pull together through the Kickstarter. And this box and all of the other things that, uh, that we produced on that Kickstarter are all basically down to you guys being able to um, have the confidence in us um, to be able to produce, as usual, lovely games um, and we put a lot of uh, love into this one just like we did original core space and um, and all our games so um, yeah really happy for that um, look out for it not long to go now happy gaming <laughs>